Welcome to logical reasoning video on direction sense test from careerright.com. Placement test, job interviews, bank MD and other exams consider direction sense test as one of the basis of logical reasoning. So every exam has at least two sums based on it. Many feel that it is very confusing. But today in this video, we'll make the topic easy for you by giving you some tips on how to solve the sums quickly and accurately. Also, direction test questions are available on careerright.com for practice. So now, let's start with the direction test. Before starting with sums of directions, let us take a look at some of the basics, okay? Now here we are going to see two to three concepts which are very easy, you know that, but we are like revising, right? Let us first draw, okay? This is nothing but our north, okay? So always take the upper direction as north. This is north. What is the opposite of north? South, right? Now north and south has been established. Now how to establish east and, east and west, okay? We know that say uh, always the right hand side is the east okay and the left hand side is west why or how to remember such things very easily you know usa is a western nation and usa is on our left side so west is on our left side and east will be the opposite that is the east side okay that is on the right side okay so these are the four main directions north south east and west apart from these there are four other directions okay they are these take a look this is nothing but north east because it lies between north and east this is south east because it lies between south and east this lies between south and west so it is southwest this lies between north and west so this is northwest mind you it is not west north or east north something like that it is northwest so north south is written first and then east west is written so northwest northeast southeast and southwest okay so these are the eight main directions which you should know for solving some sums related to direction sense test right now moving to the second concept we know that the sun rises in the east okay so the sun rises in east and the sun sets in west this is common knowledge but we need to remember this why because many a times in exam they might give that the person starts walking towards sunrise okay or towards sunset that means that the person is walking towards east or west right so sun rises in the east and the sun sets in the west so now we have learned the eight directions now let us move on to another concept that is nothing but the angles okay the angles between the directions right now we have north we have east between these two main directions the angle is always 90 degrees east and south it is 90 south and west it is 90 as well as north and west it is 90 degrees so there are four quadrants north south east and west each is 90 degrees each okay 90 degrees okay now the angle between north and northeast that is this secondary direction it is 45 degrees same way this will be 45 degrees this all these smaller angles that is the uh, angle between the main direction and this secondary direction all these angles are 45 degrees okay so 45 45 this makes up 90 degrees the total angle is since if you start from north and come back to north it would be 360 degrees okay out of that between north and east the, these angles are 90 degrees and each of the subordinate angles make uh, subordinate directions make 45 45 degrees with the main four directions right so remember this angles are 90 degrees and 45 degrees this is very useful when we are solving sums okay because we are we would be given a direction or the angle in which the turn has been made by a person or the person turns and depending on that we have to find the direction right now after this let us move on to another concept take a look at the take a look at the left hand side 
now say if i am walking towards north okay so i am facing north right now okay i am walking towards north and i am facing north right now and if say i make a right turn so over here no angle has been mentioned 45 degree or 50 degree or 60 degree so the right turn which i make will always make an angle of 90 degrees okay so whenever i turn left okay whenever time whenever i turn left or right it will always make an angle of 90 degrees if the angle is not mentioned say if i am walking towards east and if say i turn left so i am turning left by angle 90 degrees this is a straight line okay i am turning by an angle of 90 degrees since no angle has been mentioned if i am say walking east and they say that i turn by 45 degrees then i turn by 45 degrees because angle has been mentioned but if angle is not mentioned it is by default 90 degrees please remember because if you forget this or if you uh, keep on thinking what angle has been made uh, in exam then you might get the wrong answer by default it is 90 degrees let us take another example say if i am walking towards north okay and i take or i make a turn of 180 degrees right from right i make a turn of 180 degrees so i'll travel 90 degrees first then again 90 degrees so this will be 180 degrees and now i'll be facing south now if i take 180 degree turns from right or from left I, it will be the same result will be the same because i'll be facing south only from here also it is 180 degrees so whenever a person makes a 90 180 degree turns uh, turn the person will face in the opposite direction right so if i am going east and if i take a 180 degree turn i will face west this is east this is west this is 180 degrees see how easy concept these are right in exam whenever you see a direction test okay take a look at the uh, at the right hand side whenever you see a direction test you will just draw like this north and from this you will be able to de deduce all the directions because this will be south this will be east this will be west and then we will have northeast east southeast southwest and northwest okay over here while practice we will draw like this so this will give you an idea regarding where all are the directions are do not draw this entire diagram in exam okay the north and south and east and west and northeast and southeast and southwest and northwest here you have wasted your precious 20 seconds right drawing this you are wasting your precious 20 seconds in exam just draw what this just draw this once you practice more you won't even have need to draw this you will just remember that north is on the top and south is at the bottom finish and you will be able to solve sums directly with this but right now while practicing we will be seeing this diagram and in exam please draw this diagram just one arrow and north and that way you can solve all the sums now let us see some more tips regarding directions again we will see few two to three tips over here okay let us first draw the diagram right so this is north this is south this is east this is west and you know this is a northeast southwest northwest and southeast now what we have seen the sun rises over here okay and the sun sets over here in the west right now what is clockwise and anti-clockwise direction how does a clock move okay say if this is a clock one two three so this is clockwise and the exact opposite will be anti-clockwise so whenever a person is making a clockwise turn the person is going like this clockwise okay and if a person is making an anti-clockwise is going anti-clockwise the person is going like this okay this is nothing but anti-clockwise right so please remember this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise say if you are facing north and if you want to go clockwise you will go like this only if you want to go anti-clockwise you will go like this say if you are facing south and you want to go clockwise then clock moves like this so you will go like this same as this and if you want to go anti-clockwise the clock moves like this so you will go like this same so clockwise and anti-clockwise does not depend on in which direction you are facing right you can face in any direction clockwise and anti-clockwise will be same clockwise means moving through right anti-clockwise means moving through the left okay 
now let's move on to another concept that is turning left and right now here people get a, uh, people get confused a lot and in this confusion they make a lot of mistakes okay but it is very very easy take a look over here on the right hand side say this is me okay this is me and i am facing north what will be my right hand side this what will be my left hand side this right correct so this is my right this is my left okay just like what you are seeing right now your right is my right your left is my left now let us assume that i am facing south okay now i this is me and i am facing south now while facing south what will be my right hand side it would be this exactly opposite to this and this would be my this would be my right hand side and this would be my left hand side okay so this is right this is left exactly opposite to this so in exam whenever you get confused what you should do is you just need to draw this for north and exactly opposite would be for south please remember since i am facing south now so my right hand side is this and left hand side is this it is exactly to what you are saying right now your right hand side is this okay this is your right hand side but this is my left because i am facing south and you are currently facing north okay say i am facing east what will be my right it will be this and this will be my left if i am facing west this will be my left and this will be my right hand side this is very important because in the sums related to shadow this is asked also it is asked when a person is making a turn like 90 degree turn or 45 degree turns turn toward right and left so please remember this okay practice this just draw this diagram and from this you will be able to derive all the things what you can consider is this this diagram you just turn it around like this you turn it around like this and you'll get this diagram okay or you turn it just 90 degree and you'll get this diagram of the east this one turn it more you'll get this diagram so it is very easy just remember what is your right and left and turn the diagram accordingly okay now after this right and left another very important concept okay let us see over here at the bottom now you have learned this in 8 9 10 and this is nothing but the pythagoras theorem if you have a right angle triangle abc then ac is nothing but the hypotenuse okay and we know hypotenuse square that is ac square will be equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square now this is very important you need this to uh solve the sums related to directions where distance has been asked please remember in the direction sums familiar geometrical figures would be asked okay like a square or a rectangle okay or a right angle triangle now this right angle triangle of uh, can be of any form okay it can be like this it can be like this and you just need to find out familiar figures and correspondingly you need to write down the distances and calculate the final distance or the final answer right we'll see how to do that how to um, divide our diagram or direction sum into uh, familiar geometrical figures and how to solve them in uh, the sums which are going to which we are going to see ahead we are going to do it over there now let's move on to another very very important concept okay now let us draw it again this is north this is south this is east and this is west we know sun starts at the east and the sun uh, sets in the west at 12 pm or 12 noon okay at 12 noon the sun is over here on the north on top of our head say if we are standing over here if sun is starting over here at 12 noon it is exactly on top of our head what happens is that when the sun rises in the east the shadow will be on this side on the west so during sunrise in the morning okay in the morning during sunrise the shadow is towards the west right and during evening when the sun is setting when the sun is on the west side shadow will be on the east side right so in the evening the shadow would be on the east side what will happen at 12 noon at 12 noon there is no shadow why because the sun is on our head and the shadow falls below our feet okay because of which what happens since the shadow is below our feet we are not able to see the shadow so at 12 noon there is no shadow because shadow is below our feet okay now 
another thing right another important concept which is related to left and right say say take a look over here i am facing north okay this is me again i am facing north and thus at sunrise in the morning so this is east this is west at sunrise in the morning the shadow will be on the west side so the my shadow will be on this side on the west side this is nothing but my left side so during sunrise when i am facing north okay when i am facing north during sunrise my shadow is on the left side of mine and during sunset when the sun reaches over here my shadow will be that is after 12 o'clock right my shadow will be on the right hand side towards east this is my right hand side so during sunset my shadow will be to the right of me correct same way if i am facing south what will happen if i am facing south okay this is me and i am facing south during sunrise this is east during sunrise my shadow will be on my right hand side and during sunset when the sun is on the west my shadow will be on the left hand side of mine because now i am facing south okay so exactly opposite this is exactly opposite over here right so remember this concept we will be seeing it in sums also so clockwise anti clockwise turning light right and left when we are facing north and south then the hypotenuse or the pythagoras theorem familiar geometrical figures and where does the shadow fall these are the major things that would help you to very easily solve the sums so let us see sum number 1 Joe is facing towards south and turns 45 degrees anticlockwise. He turns again 180 degrees in anticlockwise direction. Now he turns 270 degrees clockwise. Which direction is he facing? Now there are four options given. As we see, this is north. Okay, so this will be south. This will be east, and this will be west. What are they saying? Joe Joe is facing south. So. okay here this is jo okay jo is facing south this is south so jo is facing what south now we have learned that the hands of the clock move like this so this is clockwise so this will be anti clockwise so it would be like this this is anti clockwise correct so jo turns 45 degrees anti clockwise so jo turns like this for 45 degrees this is 45 degrees so where will jo come this is south and this will be south east over here this is south east right so jo turns 45 degrees anti clockwise he turns again 180 degrees in anti clockwise direction we have learned that when a person moves 180 degrees the person goes in exact opposite direction but let us see again okay so this is south east 45 degrees again now jo wants to move 180 degrees anti clockwise so first 45 degrees plus this 90 degrees that would be 135 degrees and this 45 degrees that would be 180 degrees so total 180 degrees is traveled by jo in anti clockwise direction this is anti clockwise so now jo faces direction north west from over here we say north west okay now he turns 270 degrees clockwise okay now Here, Joe is facing northwest. Now we have to go to seventy degrees clockwise. This is forty-five, correct? This is ninety. One thirty-five again ninety. That would be two hundred and fifteen, right? Uh, no, this is ninety, ninety, one eighty, one eighty plus forty-five is one two hundred and twenty-five. Okay, this would be two twenty-five, and we want two hundred and seventy. So more forty-five. So more forty-five degrees. So Joe moved like this. This is nothing but two hundred and seventy degrees. How two seventy degrees? Forty-five plus ninety one thirty-five. One thirty-five plus ninety two hundred and twenty-five plus forty-five two hundred and seventy degrees. So Joe is now facing south west. Okay, over here Joe traveled like this two seventy degrees. Joe turned like this two seventy degrees because this is clockwise. So now Joe is facing south west. Which direction is he facing? South west. So C is the answer okay see how easy it is once you draw the diagram you will very easily be able to find the answer moving to question number 2 morris is facing north and walks 10 km he turns 270 degrees anti clockwise and walks 15 km 
Now he again turns 45 degrees clockwise and walks for 25 kilometers. Which direction is he facing now? Now see in the previous also we saw we have to find the direction right. Over here also we have to find out the direction in which Morris is facing. So these are the type of sums where only direction is asked that in which direction the person is facing. There are other types also we will be discussing them further okay after solving this sum okay we will check out those types also but this is one type or the first type where only direction is asked okay. Now first what is it direction sum so we will have our north okay so this will be south this will be east this will be west. Now here we have Morris okay this is Morris and Morris is facing north correct this is north right Morris faces north and walks 10 kilometers so Morris has walked 10 kilometers right now here here Morris turns 270 degrees anti-clockwise now Morris has reached over here and he is still facing north he will turn 270 degrees anti-clockwise this is anti-clockwise and Morris has to go 270 degrees okay so let us find 270 degrees this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 so now Morris turns like this and is facing in this direction what is this direction east okay so Morris turns anti-clockwise 270 degrees and now is facing this direction right and now Morris walks 15 kilometers in this direction okay this is 15 kilometers now Morris is over here he is facing in the east correct now again he turns 45 degrees clockwise okay now what is clockwise like the handles of like the hands of clock so it is like this so if this is a straight line this is 45 degrees correct so Morris turns 45 degrees over here if this is east what is 45 this is 45 correct okay so Morris turns 45 degrees and what is this direction this is nothing but southeast so this is nothing but southeast okay so Morris is now facing towards southeast and this is the answer moving to question number three Mary is walking towards southwest for 15 miles turns right and walks another 10 miles she then turns 90 degrees clockwise and walks 10 miles now she again turns left and walks 30 miles which direction is she facing now again this is a very easy sum but you might feel it is complicated because of lot of stuff that she is turning she is walking again and all that stuff so let us see how to easily solve the sum since it is direction sum we have our north over here so this is south this is east and this is west okay now Mary is walking towards southwest what is southwest this is southwest okay so Mary is walking southwest okay she was over here right over here and she is walking southwest for how many 15 miles okay then she turns right now have they given by what angle no we know that whenever by default she reaches over at this point okay now this sum starts with southwest and all that stuff so that is these uh, difficult diagonal type direction so in such sums what happens is that it is very difficult to see what is 90 degree and what is 45 degree so what to do whenever the person reaches the next point draw this plus sign okay so what happens is Mary has reached at this point now Mary wants will turn right and walks another 10 miles now Mary will turn right by how much angles 90 degree why 90 degree because we have learned when no angle is mentioned always turning right or left is always 90 degrees so Mary turns right so this is 45 correct this will be 45 so turning 90 degrees this is 90 degrees turning right and walks for 10 miles so Mary has reached over here now after walking 10 miles okay again draw plus sign now she again turns left and walks for 30 no first they have given she then turns 90 degrees clockwise clockwise is like this correct so she will turn 90 degrees clockwise this is 90 degrees okay clockwise and walks 10 miles so again she walks 10 miles and she reached at this point again plus sign now she again turns left now here she is going straight she is facing this direction left means over here and since no angle has been mentioned so she turns left by 90 degrees and walks for 30 miles okay this is 30 miles right 
विच डायरेक्शन इज शी फेसिंग ओके शी इज फेसिंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन वॉट इज दिस डायरेक्शन ओवर इयर वॉट इज दिस डायरेक्शन नॉर्थ एंड वेस्ट दैट इज नॉर्थ वेस्ट सो आंसर इज नॉर्थ वेस्ट दैट इज डी मेरी इज फेसिंग नॉर्थ वेस्ट सी हाउ इज इट इज वी हैड मेरी ओवर इयर शी गोज इन साउथ वेस्ट डिरेक्शन वाई बिकॉज दिस इज साउथ वेस्ट एज पर दिस डायग्राम then she reaches here okay then she takes right turn 90 degree she goes over here this is 90 degree turn right then over here she takes she she turns 90 degrees clockwise clockwise is this so she turns 90 degrees clockwise okay so this is 90 this is 45 this is 45 over here again she turns left left means how many degrees 90 degrees this is 45 this is 45 so total 90 now she is facing north west because this is north this is south this is east and this is west right she is facing north west question number 4 maria walked 30 meters towards north she turned right and walked 40 meters she then turned right and walked 45 meters she turned left and walked 25 meters finally she turned left and walked 15 meters how far is she from the starting point now this is a second type of sum okay earlier we saw only direction was asked now they are asking what is the distance from the starting position okay let us see how to solve these kind of sums see it is very easy since it is direction sum we will have our north okay we will have our north so this will be south this will be east this will be west right now maria is over here say this is maria okay she is facing towards north and she walks 30 meters towards north so this is 30 meters okay and this is the north direction now she turns right and walks 40 meters turning right means taking 90 degree turn so turns right and walks 40 meters correct she is over here she is facing this direction right okay this is now she is facing this direction then she turned again right and walked 45 meters again she turned right means she is turning in this side correct right for maria now will be on this side and she is walking 45 meters she'll go like this and walk 45 meters right and now she is facing in this direction that is south direction she turned left now for the south left will be what left will be this side correct so she turned left turning left means by 90 degrees she turned left and walked for 25 meters and now she is over here okay finally she turned left again she is turning left that means turning like this correct so she is turning left and walking 15 meters okay this is 15 meters how far is she from starting point okay this is the starting point this is the final point we have to find how far is she from the starting point that is we have to find distance between these points right these two points now if you see carefully this is 30 meters then again this is 90 degree angle so she goes 40 meters over here again 90 degree angle she comes 45 meters down so this would be nothing but 30 meters this will be a rectangle this will be 40 meters correct this is 30 this is 30 this is 40 right now again she goes over here turns 25 comes over up 15 so this is 15 this is 15 so we'll have 30 and 15 as 45 so even this is a rectangle because here it is 90 degree here it is 90 degree right so if two angles are 90 degrees rest also have to be 90 degree okay so if this is 25 this will be 25 so distance between m and m that is the starting point and the end point starting point for maria and the end point is 40 plus 25 that would be equal to 65 meter so answer is b 65 see how easy it is whenever they give you direction sums please remember when you have to find the starting or ending position always remember that familiar geometrical figures would be formed like square like rectangle okay or a right angled triangle it can be like this it can be like this or it can be like this also okay so familiar uh, diagrams would be formed now over here we got a rectangle when she is walking 45 meters she first travels 30 meters so she will come in line with this then she travels 15 so total 45 again she goes 15 up so she will come in exact line with the starting point and the total distance between them would be 40 meter plus 25 meter 
प्लीज रिमेंबर देर विल ऑलवेज बी सच जोमेट्रिकल फिगर्स स्क्वेर रेक्टेंगल ओके और रेक्टेंगल ऑफ दिस टाइप ओके और अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल राइट एंड दीज वुड बी हेल्पफुल टू सॉल्व द सम्स वेन एवर यू गेट दीज ओके देर वुड बी नो अदर शेप लाइक सर्कल और एन आइसोसल ट्राइंगल और समथिंग लाइक दैट वेरी रेयरली एन आइसोसल ट्राइंगल और समथिंग वुड बी आस्ट सर्कल इज जनरली नेवर आस्ट राइट सो रिमेंबर देर वुड बी फेमिलियर जोमेट्रिक फिगर्स नाउ मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव A boy walks 12 kilometers towards east. He turns 90 degrees clockwise and walks 20 kilometers. Then he turned right and walked for 33 kilometers. How far is he from the starting point? Now this is direction sums very easy. Okay, so this becomes our north. There is this boy. Okay, he starts walking. This is the starting point. Okay, he starts walking east and walks for 12 kilometers. Where is east? On the right hand side. Okay. he reaches this point he turns 90 degree clockwise clockwise means like this correct so turns 90 degrees clockwise okay and walks for how much distance for 20 kilometers okay again he turned right now turning right since the boy is facing south okay so turning right would be on this side so the boy turned right turning right means by 90 degrees turning by 90 degrees so turned right by 90 degrees and continued walking for 33 kilometers okay the boy reached over here this is the end point we have to find how far is he from the starting point that is how far is the boy from this point okay this straight line which is there we have to find the distance now this is not a familiar geometric figure but say if we draw a line like this this becomes a rectangle and this becomes a right angled triangle okay so this becomes a right angled triangle and this becomes a rectangle right so if this is a rectangle why rectangle this is 90 this is 90 so this has to be 90 and this has to be 90 okay when two angles are 90 third and fourth also has to be a 90 in a quadrilateral okay if it is a four sided quadrilateral now here we have 12 km this will be also 12 km because rectangle has opposite sides equal this is 20 this is 20 entire is 33 from here to here this is 20 or uh, this is 12 km so this will this will be 21 kilometers this is 20 kilometers this is 21 kilometers now we have a right angle triangle say a b and c and we have learned the pythagoras theorem that hypotenuse square is equal to the side square plus the other side square okay side 1 square plus side 2 square so ab square would be equal to bc square plus ac square so what is ab square ab square would be equal to 20 square Plus 21 square, correct? So AB square would be equal to what is 20 square? 400. What is 21 square? 441. It is very important to know the squares of numbers till 30. So what do we get? I'll write it over here. AB square would be equal to 841. So how much will be AB? It is 29 because 841 is the square of 29. So the boy is 29 kilometers from the house or from the starting point, right? The boy is 29 kilometers from the starting point. This distance is 29 kilometers. Now it might happen that you might not be able to quickly uh, remember what exactly is square of 29 or what exactly is 841 square root of. So see options. You know the this square ends with one. So which all numbers square end with one? Only nine and one. Nine square is eighty-one. One square is one. So sixty-five and forty-three cannot be the options. So answer can be twenty-nine or twenty-one. But twenty-one square we have already seen four forty-one. So answer has to be two twenty-nine. Now if there was an option called as none of the above, okay, none of the above, then what you can do? You are left with two choices: twenty-nine and none of the above. Then take twenty-nine. Find twenty-nine square. If it is eight forty-one, twenty-nine is the answer. If it is not eight forty-one, then none of the above is the answer. But here the answer is twenty-nine. So twenty-nine is the answer. Moving to next question. A car travels twenty-five kilometers towards south from garage. It turns left and travels thirty kilometers. Then turns right and travels fifteen kilometers. How far is the car from the garage and in which direction? again very easy now earlier we saw that we were asked 
direction then we saw how far is the person from starting point now this is the third type where both the things are asked it is very easy to solve we have to solve the same way what we have done up till now okay so let's solve this sum since it is direction sum this is our not direction okay the car travels 25 kilometers towards south so from the garage so this is the garage okay and the car starts and travels 25 kilometers towards south okay this is south and the car reaches over here it turns left left for the car now will be since it is uh, facing south it will not be the same left as ours it would be opposite side car turns left and travels 30 kilometers the turn will be 90 degrees because they have just given left turn so the car travels 30 kilometers okay and it reaches here then it turns right and travels 15 kilometers again it turns right so 90 degrees okay the car is traveling like this turns right okay travels 15 kilometers 15 kilometers right and reaches over here how far is the car from the garage and in which direction very easy we have to to find how far it is simply joining these two points and we have to find the length between these two points correct so how to do now there are two triangles over here this one and this one instead of calculating it for two triangles just use this small trick or tip okay what you do extend this and take it over here so you got one big triangle with 90 degree over here let the triangle be a b and c what is we have to find ac correct now which is this direction from the garage it is like this correct draw this this is north we already know this is south this is east this is west okay direction is southeast over here where do we see southeast we see here and here so this is not the option this is not the option correct so this and this is the answer we have to choose one now 70 or 50 we have to see this is southeast direction now the car is in southeast direction from the garage now this we know as this is 90 degree this is 90 degree this will also be 90 this will also be 90 so this is a rectangle so if this is 30 this is 30 if this is 15 this is 15 so entire ab distance is 25 plus 15 bc distance is 30 so in this right angle triangle hypotenuse square would be equal to ab square that is side square plus the other side square hypotenuse square is ac square correct that would be 25 plus 15 is 40 square plus 30 square that is 1600 plus 900 would be 2500 and now ac would be nothing but square root of 2500 that is 50 kilometers so answer is d southeast okay 50 southeast moving to question number seven martin walked 13 meters towards south from his gym he turned left and walked 10 meters he took left turn and walked 5 meters and then he turned right and walked for 5 meters how far is he from his gym and in which direction again very easy this is our north side okay this is the gym okay martin starts from here and he walks 13 meters towards south okay he reaches at this point he turned left for south direction left is this so turning by 90 degrees left okay he walked 10 meters right he walked 10 meters reaches here he took a left turn again again a left turn means this 90 degrees okay again he reaches over here and walked for 5 meters okay he walked for 5 meters and reaches over here and then he turned right now right is our right because martin is now facing north and we are facing north so turned right this is 90 degrees and walked for 5 meters so after turning right martin walked for 5 meters and reached at this point how far is he from his gym and in which direction now this is the gym and this is the direction okay what is the direction just draw this cardinal at the gym it is in going in this direction this is nothing but this is north this is south this is east this is west so southeast so this is not the answer this is not the answer answer is this or this let us find out okay we have to find the distance between starting point and end point okay just join this and you will get a right angle triangle let us assume the triangle is a b and c okay this end now a to b now this is 90 90 this will be 90 this will be 90 so this is a rectangle right so if this is 5 this distance will be 5 this is 10 
so this distance will be 10 so ab is nothing but 10 plus 5 ab is 10 plus 5 equal to 15 is that right now we want a to c we know c to this point is 13 out of that if you remove this 5 you will get the distance ac ac is nothing but 13 minus 5 that is 8 so let us find out the distance bc bc square by pythagoras theorem bc square is ac square plus ab square correct that would be what is ac 8 8 square is 64 plus 225 that is 15 square that is 289 so bc would be equal to 17 because 289 is square of 17 so the answer is d 17 southeast moving to question number 8 question number 8 one morning after sunrise joe was standing facing a pole the shadow of the pole fell exactly to his right to which direction was he facing now welcome to type number 4 it is related to shadows okay this is actually easy only thing is that people get confused over here because of the shadow and the direction of the shadow or where the exactly the shadow is falling but very easy way to solve this sum let us see what what have we learned okay this is our north correct this is our north so this is south this is east this is west what have they given one morning after sunrise that means the sun has risen okay there is sunrise so sun is in the east okay now if sun is in the east on this side where will be the shadow shadow will be on the west side okay okay and this shadow which is there shadow will be over here shadow of what shadow of the pole okay shadow of the pole will be over here on the west side okay over here on the west side but they say that the shadow is to the right of joe okay so find out which direction he is facing very easy say assume that joe is standing over here okay and joe is facing north what will be north of joe the, uh, what will be right of joe this but shadow is on this side so exactly opposite try if joe is facing this side right will be this correct now if you are facing north our right would be this his right joe's right correct but joe is not facing right because the shadow is on the left side of joe right now correct so just try the reverse this is south if joe is facing south where will be his right his right will be on this side and shadow is also on this side that means joe is facing south so south is the answer in such cases it is very easy you just assume first let us say any direction let us say i assume that okay joe is facing east after that what i'll see where is the joe right of joe right of joe will be this but shadow is at the back of joe so this is not possible then take west okay joe is facing west what is right of joe right of joe is this side okay but say if joe, joe is facing this side that means right of joe is this side that means shadow which is there the entire shadow which is there it is in front of joe that we don't want we want the shadow to be right then try north then try south okay you will find the answer very easy you don't have to do anything just draw your own diagram over here north south east west draw the sun as per the time given and get the answer moving to next question james and henry were standing facing each other at 8 am shadow of henry fell exactly to his right to which direction was james facing again very easy sum what do we have okay we have to find the shadow so we'll have our north we'll have our south we'll have our east we'll have our west time given is 8 am that means sunrise in the morning sun is in the east so shadow will be over here on the west side this is the shadow okay now shadow of henry fell exactly to his right so say if henry is there and if henry is facing towards north okay so henry's shadow fell to the right of henry what is right of henry over here this but shadow is on the left over here so henry is not facing north henry let's try south okay if henry is facing south okay what is the right of henry this is the right of henry and shadow is also to the right of henry so henry is facing south okay so this is henry henry is facing south and we know james and henry are facing each other so james has to face henry so james is facing which direction james is facing north so north is the answer moving to next question 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन प्रिंस वॉज स्टैंडिंग फेसिंग टू द पोल एट वन फोर्टी एट पी एम शेडो ऑफ द पोल फेल टूवर्ड्स हिज राइट टू विच डिरेक्शन वॉज प्रिंस फेसिंग वेरी इजी सिमिलर टू द प्रीवियस सम ओके वी हैव नॉर्थ ओके दिस इज आर नॉर्थ दिस इज आर साउथ दिस इज आर ईस्ट दिस इज आर वेस्ट इट इज वन फोर्टी एट पी एम वी नो सन राइज इज ओवर इयर ओके इट गोज ओवर इयर एट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक the sun is over here so at 1 o'clock the sun will be here somewhere okay okay so on the west side the sun is on the west side right so shadow will be on east side okay the shadow will be on east side so what they have said that the shadow of pole is to the right of prince okay let us assume that the prince is facing say west okay here is prince prince is facing west so shadow of prince will be what is the right of prince right of prince is this but is the shadow on the north side no shadow is over here on the east side at the back of prince so prince is not facing west let us assume prince is facing east okay what is right of prince it would be this right is the shadow to the right of prince no it is in front of prince so prince is not facing east let prince face south okay if prince is facing south what is right of prince right of prince is this is the shadow on this side no shadow is on this side over here so prince is not facing south let prince face north what is right of prince this where is the shadow of the pole on this side only that is on the right only so prince is facing the north see how easy it was okay moving to next question question number 11 ted drives the car 10 miles towards north from his office He turns to seventy degrees clockwise and drives for twenty miles. Now he turns to seventy degrees anti-clockwise and drives for thirty-seven miles. Finally, he reaches his house after driving for twenty miles to his right. How far is Ted's house from his office and in which direction? Okay, again very easy. It is similar to type number three. Okay, let us see. We know this is our north, right? Now what they have given is that. Ted starts from his office. Okay, this is the office. Okay, Ted starts from here, and Ted's move. Ted moves ten miles towards north. Right now, he reaches at this point here. He takes a two seventy degrees clockwise turn. Now we know clockwise is like this. Okay, so he takes two seventy de degrees. So it would be how much? Ninety one eighty two seventy degrees turn. So now. Ted is facing in this direction, right? And he drives for twenty miles. This is twenty miles. He reaches at this point. This is ninety degree. Okay, this is ninety. This is ninety. This is ninety. Now, what do what does Ted do? He takes two seventy degrees anti-clockwise turn. So this is anti-clockwise. Now Ted is facing in this direction. So let let him take two seventy degrees anti-clockwise. Ninety one eighty two seventy. So now Ted will face in this direction. Correct. This is two seventy degrees. This is also two seventy degrees. This is clockwise. This is anti-clockwise. Now Ted is facing in this direction and Ted drives for thirty-seven miles. Okay, this is thirty-seven miles. He reaches his house after driving twenty miles to his right. That means he takes a right turn, ninety degrees. Okay, and drives for twenty miles. So he has driven twenty miles over here. Okay, in this direction. Now he goes twenty miles over here. So he comes in straight line with this. Point and here he reaches his house, right? So how far is Ted's house from his office and in which direction? Now Ted's house is this is office, this is house. So Ted's house is in the north. Okay. So here we have north. We can directly mark the answer. But say if there are two options, like say here also it is north, then how to calculate? Let us see. This is ninety. Okay. This is ninety, ninety. This is also ninety. Okay, this is ninety, ninety, ninety. This is also ninety because two seventy degrees is ninety plus ninety plus ninety. Okay, so this is a rectangle. If this is twenty, this is twenty. This is thirty-seven. This will be thirty-seven or uh, thirty-seven meters. And distance between house and office is thirty-seven meters plus ten meters. That is equal to forty-seven meters. So the option is B, forty-seven north. This is the correct answer. See how directions is very very easy. You just need to remember there are four directions: north, south. east west the sun rises in the east sets in the west at 12 noon in the afternoon sun is on the top and we cannot see our shadow when the sun rises in the east shadow is on the west when it sets in the west shadow is on the 
ईस्ट ओके राइट एंड यू शुड रिमेंबर दिस इज क्लॉक वाइज लाइक अ क्लॉक एंड दिस इज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज एक्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट टर्निंग लेफ्ट एंड राइट डिपेंड्स ऑन विच डायरेक्शन यू आर फेसिंग इफ यू आर फेसिंग नॉर्थ दिस इज राइट दिस इज लेफ्ट इफ यू आर फेसिंग साउथ दिस इज राइट दिस इज लेफ्ट ओके एंड दिस इज राइट एक्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट सेम गोज फॉर ईस्ट एंड वेस्ट दिस इज ईस्ट ओके सो राइट विल बी दिस एंड लेफ्ट विल बी दिस बट फॉर वेस्ट दिस विल बी लेफ्ट एंड दिस विल बी राइट एक्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट देर इज नथिंग टू दिस If you draw the diagram, if you trace the diagram sentence by sentence, you will very easily get the answer in hardly ten seconds. Drawing the diagram might take you round about thirty seconds. Okay, no, not more than that. Thirty to thirty-five seconds, and you'll get the answer in hardly two seconds or five ten seconds. Very very easily. The calculations are also very easy. So keep practicing. and make sure that you attempt all the sums related to directions because these are bread and butter sums that means uh, you can very easily score in this and you should not get these wrong so this is all for direction sense test i hope you found this video useful and i hope that it raised your confidence level keep practicing and also share the video with your friends give it a like if you liked it leave your comments and suggestions for us you can even request a video on topic of your choice Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated